Hi everybody, so today I have a video for you about post shave balms. Now if you're a fan of Nikki tutorials, but then again, even if you're not, you would have heard all the hype about post shave balms here on YouTube. Now it's Nikki tutorials who actually started this off as far as I'm aware, and what happened was she had run out of primer, and she decided to use her boyfriend's post shave balm because it was high in glycerin and apparently glycerin is one of those products that helps products stick to your face so she used this and she found it was amazing and her makeup lasted all day and she just was raving about this product so a lot of people then went out and got it it kept on going completely out of stock online at boots and superdrug Consequently, this was a very difficult product to get hold of. Now, it does come in in its original format, but I actually got mine insensitive. I do have sensitive skin, but I was thinking that it maybe would be less fragrance than the original. Now, it actually does come in a box. I'd kept the box, but I can't seem to find it now. But this is how it comes, the packaging. It's a glass bottle, it's 100 mils of product, and it retails for £5.99 generally. However, I got mine for £2.67 at Boots. I did have to order it in and go out and collect it, um, just because I didn't really want to go and then find out that they didn't have any in the store at the time. So I did kind of play it safe there. Um, but that's what the product actually looks like. And it does have a strong masculine fragrance, I will say that. Very strong. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, <laughs> but it's a pore bottle. So that's what the product actually looks like. It's very liquidy, very fluid, and sinks into the skin immediately. The smell is quite strong, but I do find that after about five, 10 minutes, that does start to go. And you're gonna put other products on top of that anyway that probably do have smells of their own because foundations, or a lot of them that I use, do have their own kind of individual smell. So you probably will not smell it. That is completely dry now, and I've literally just put it on. Now, I went into Superdrug trying to purchase this and I couldn't find it because it was sold out and it was on offer for £2.99 in there. So I ended up buying another one to try because I thought, well, why not? It's a post shave balm. All you need to look for is to check that glycerin is high up there in the first few ingredients in the product and it is. And I thought I'd give this one a go because this one retails for £5.99 also. You get 100 mils of product and it was on offer for £2.99. So I purchased this one and then ordered this one into stock. Now I've actually been trying both of them. I've tried both of them individually with the same foundations and then I've tried them where I did half of my face in one and half of my face in the other. And I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons and which one I prefer in this video. So this one does sink into the skin very, very quickly. The only thing I don't particularly like about this one, I'm not a huge fan of the strong masculine smell and I'm not a huge fan of the fact that it's a pore bottle. Just because it, it can be a little bit messy, sometimes you can pour a bit too much out. You could decant this into maybe a little tub and then use it that way. Um, that's something that's worth thinking about. It is a glass bottle and it's quite bulky, but other than that, this did do a good job of keeping my makeup on. And the benefits of this are it does soothe irritated skin. So if you do have acne prone skin or you have skin that kind of reacts to different weathers and different stresses, then this actually does help with that. And it does say over time, it does reduce sensitivity. So that's quite an interesting fact about this product. Now this one here comes in a squeezy tube. Already I prefer the packaging much more um, because you can just, you can control how much comes out. This product is a lot firmer. So that's not going to run anywhere. It does sink into the skin very quickly and it really has very little smell. It has the smell of cream, if that makes sense. You know how things, when they're not fragrance, they still have that kind of smell of something. It's just, it's not a fragrance smell. That has sunk into the skin already, but this kind of almost makes me feel like I have something on my skin, like a slight tackiness, not, not horrible feeling, but a feeling that um, this one doesn't have. This one's just very smooth and just feels like my skin. This one, I can definitely feel I do have something on my skin, like there's a layer there. And like I said, it's not uncomfortable. It doesn't feel strange. It's very lightweight, but definitely I do feel like I've got something on. So this one is from B Cosmetics. I think it's an exclusive brand to Superdrug. This is the B Men Post Shave Balm. Now this claims to have eight in one properties and I'm going to read those out. I'm just going to pop my glasses on. 
So this, the claims of this one are, it's a 12 hour moisturiser that soothes, protects, energises and controls shine. It's clinically proven to have results and it says it's got instant and long lasting uh, moisturisation, soothes and calms irritation caused by razor burn, of course we're ladies we don't have that but it, it soothes and calms irritation, uh, provides antitoxidant protection against environmental um, stresses so it's it's going to provide that layer on your skin that's not going to allow things to soak through it which is what a primer essentially is it is that layer and then everything that you put on top of it a lot of people early days when primers were starting to become really popular thought that this was something to keep your help keep your makeup on it's not really about that it is but it's also about protecting the skin from all the other things that you're putting on your face so just to, you know if you've got problem skin you really want to use a primer because then you're not going to get all these kinds of products in your pores that can then cause irritation and spots and that's essentially what it's for it has an all-day shine control so it helps to reduce shine and provides a matte finish so if you like that matte finish then that's great and I think that's what I can feel it's like I can feel like that matte finish to my skin I don't know if, let me see a difference I think you can because if you look there you can see the ring light is kind of making a shine across my skin there and very little you can see the ring light but I don't think it looks particularly shiny it controls blemishes so that's very good um, refreshes and energizes gives dull and tired skin a boost minimizes redness and helps skin feel more comfortable and it refines pores for a smoother and clearer complexion and it's suitable for all skin types so you can get this in a number of different um, formats. There is an original, there is the sensitive. I'm not sure if there is another one out now, um, but this is just kind of a um, meets all kind of product because it's suitable for all skin types. It's great that it reduces shine. It's great that it gives you that matte finish, but it's also really great that it helps with redness. It helps with spots. It provides a layer to protect your skin against the outside world. So it is doing everything that a primer would do. And I have to say that this is an absolute winner for me. I tried them both. Both of them have excellent stain power and they do provide, you know, really great makeup lastability. But I found that this one lasted a lot longer than this one did. Plus, I liked all the benefits in the fact that it was, you know, I have redness because I've got rosacea. It gives a matte finish. It's a nice base for your makeup to go on top of. It protects against the environment. It's moisturising. It just does a lot of things that this one doesn't really do. And I feel like it really helped my makeup stay on better than this one. And this one doesn't have a smell. It's in a better sized bottle. Um, I don't know, it's nicer for storage, I guess. But it's in a better kind of bottle because it's a squeezy tube, which I think is much preferable to a glass bottle that you pour out. This is also a thicker product, so I just found it was nicer to put on, not too liquidy, so it was really easy to control. You don't need very much, and I just think it's a really, really amazing product. It means that on a morning, I'm now moisturising my face with this, but I do find that it has started to refine some of the pores around here, and I think that it gives me a better finish to my makeup when I use it. After trialing these for the past six weeks, I have to say that the B Pore Shave Balm is definitely the winner for me. I know everybody's buying this one. Basically, any pore shave balm that has glycerin up there high in its content, then that would have the same sort of effect as these products. However, this is the winner for me. I really love it. I've already bought another tube of this because it's still on sale for £2.99 at Superdrug. So I already have a bag up because I just love it so much. It definitely does make my makeup last longer, but my skin feels really nourished. And I feel like after I put it on, I feel like the redness isn't quite as obvious. And I feel confident that this is protecting my skin. So I am really, really impressed with this. Not to say that this is bad, um, but I've tried it and it's not really for me. I don't think it has the same effect as this. I do think that this is much better. And it's just the pros way out way. I, I can't even find anything that I could say that I don't like about this product. I think 
everything about it is just really really great i'm going to link below where you can purchase it online but you can pick this up at superdrug and like i said two pounds 99 and it's 100 mils of product that's got to be one of the cheapest primers out there <laughs> so that's my little comparison and review of these two products i hope you've enjoyed this video today don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you have i'm gonna love and leave you there and see you in the next video hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing see you next time guys Bye.